Hey you guys, it's Kelly again. Sorry I've been away for so long. I've decided, you know, I take a break for a little bit, which I did because my internet connection has been a little crappy. But now I'm back. Uh, I'll try to check in as often as I can. Um, basically, this video is entitled "What I'm Thinking." Now that we've just celebrated Thanksgiving, it it was very tough for me to celebrate without my mom and you know back when she was here she'd come over and eat turkey and talk with us many people would ask me what are you thankful for and I'll tell you this and I'm being honest here I'm thankful for all my friends Karen MJJ Angel 2002 um, Marie Weber uh, Renee Gildersleeve, Celeste Janae Siegel Olson, um, Seth Ryan Liebick, uh, Jackie Lucarelli. Um, I mean, I, I could name everyone, but I don't want to waste time doing that. Thankful for all my friends that I have that have supported me through this very difficult phase of my life. Um, but I want, what I'm most thankful for is having spent time with my mother while she was here. You know, I enjoyed spending time with her. And yes, we had difficult times, but in the end, I forgave her for all the crap that she did. You know, there's, like I said in my previous videos, which I've done, you guys can look back at them. They're still on my channel. Um, I, I'm going to say it multiple times if I have to. I don't care how many times I got to say it. Yes, you hear it all the time. But this time, when I say this, I actually, I've said it many times, and I actually meant it those times, but I wanted to make sure people understood that some of you, the ones that have their mothers, please, 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 please be thankful that you still have them. You know, my siblings and I wish we still had ours, and there's not a day that doesn't go by that we don't think about our mom, you know. Mom would always check up on us, call us, come over, say, how you doing? You okay? You need anything? Are you sure? You know, and she nagged me about that. She'd say, well, you're not eating enough. Are you, are you getting enough sleep? Are you, are you starting to worry me here? You know, and that, that, I probably miss more than anything besides hearing her talk. You know, hear, hear her give her advice on whatever I was facing, or whatever it was. She give me advice, and then I'd say thank you. But then there are times where you know you kind of have to go away a little bit, and she had to go away for a while. And then you know, with her going away, I because back when I was little, she did this, and it took me forever to accept the fact that you know she couldn't always be around. But as I got older, I accepted that fact, and it, it came full circle for me. But now that she's no longer here. I still feel empty, you know, I have this emptiness, and I, there are times where I just wish you were here to just help me cope, because it's, you know, it, sometimes it's difficult, you know, and I've had a person, multiple people who knew her, and one that didn't know her, say a whole bunch of crap and stuff, but I, I miss her. And I know for a fact that she'd say I don't pay attention to any of that, but you know, she's no longer here to defend herself. And I just have to keep her memory with me, and it's very difficult, you know. I, I see, I saw a lot of women that I worked with when I went to grade school that reminded me a lot of my mother, and so when I talk to them, or when I, when I hear them get mentioned, it's like, I have a little bit of my mother back, but I know my siblings and I will never have her. You know, we we're not we're gonna see her again, but it's gonna be a while before we do. And I wanted to thank all the people that commented on the Jesse James lyrics video. Uh, Jesse James is a song that Cher did that my mother absolutely loved. She loved that song. She loved Cher a lot. So I want to thank all the people that have been kind enough to leave me well with well, 
well wishes and you know keep you know try to help me keep my head up because there are times where I don't think I can do it you know and my mother wouldn't want me to be like this but it's still difficult for me and there are a lot of things now that she won't get to see she won't get to see that she won't get to talk to him she won't get to see her baby nephew you know there's a lot of things that I wanted her to see that she's no longer here to see and it's very painful and through all this sadness I've been able to get a piece of myself and I, I've probably never been this happy in a long time. It's been a while for me because I've, I'm one of these people that when you are young, you, are, you, you don't open yourself up a lot. You shut yourself off from people and people wonder why you don't talk, why you don't say certain things. So, you know, this for me is a new chapter. For, for myself, I, I'm trying to keep an eye on the positive and stay away from the negative crap, but at the same time, you know, you get both, so it's kind of hard to ignore the negativity that comes your way, you know, I'm trying to do what my mother would want me to do, and I, I hope that she, she'll be proud of me, you know, I wanted her to be here to see Seth, talk to him. I told her, I said, you know, one day I'm going to want to be a mama. I'm going to want that. And she's like, well, if you're going to want that, you know, I'm going to be watching what you eat, make sure you eat healthy and look after you and, you know, possibly walk you down the aisle if you ever decide to get married. And now that that's part of that dream that has taken place, that has actually happened, she's not here to see it. You know, I, I, it really really makes me sad, you know, I've, I've carried a lot of bitterness too, I mean, I don't have to go into a crap load of details, because many of you that know me personally have known me for over 15, nearly 14, 15 years now, so you know my whole life story, I don't have to share it with the whole world, but, you know, all this stuff has come full circle now, and if someone were to ask me, well, did it take her to pass away for you to realize that she loved you? Yes, sadly it did because I went through this phase with myself where I had to shut her out because she wasn't listening to me. And then, you know, I let her back in. I talked to her. I told her what my concerns were. And I said, I want you around. I want you to be here when, he, when I get him back. And sat, you know, I was telling her, I'm going to get him back. I want you to be here. I don't want you to do anything stupid. And I got him back. And my mother wasn't there to see it. And I told her, I said, Mother, I said, I'm going to get him back. You know, he's going to be, you know, in my life again. I'm going to be talking to him. I'm going to be, you know, because I was so emotionally hyped that I couldn't. I couldn't function mentally. My brain was just going in all different directions. I was trying to deal with things that I didn't want to deal with. And now that's that's basically what I'm facing now is that certain things that have come up again that have forced me to face certain things like having to be forgiving to certain people. There are certain people I'm willing to forgive. I don't need to mention names. Um, but then at the same time, there are people that I'm not wanting to forgive. And so for me, it's going to take a long time to go through that phase again. And I didn't want to have to face this. And I'm not facing it alone because I know my mother was loved by all people. You know, those, there are those that knew her for a long time and those that knew her for a short time. But when they were around her, you know, she made them feel special. They all know who they are. I don't need to mention names. But I just want to thank everyone for checking up on me, making sure I'm okay, leaving me and my family well wishes regarding our mother. I appreciate it. And I, I hope to do more videos soon because I've, I've had limited uh, internet access for a while. So hopefully see you guys again real soon. Okay? Happy Thanksgiving.